Collected Stories by Donald Margulies is a play that's very specifically about an older woman writer who takes on a young protege. I play Ruth Steiner, who's a very celebrated and successful writer of short stories in this country and a teacher at NYU. I play the character of Lisa Morrison and uh, she's a graduate student. At the beginning of the play she's 26 years old. By the end of the play she's 32, so there's a sort of six year span. Is that the right math? I'm an actress, I'm not a mathematician. We see them upon meeting, we see as the relationship evolves, and then we see uh, how their roles ultimately kind of switch, um, which is really more the effect almost of time than it is on anything that happens to them. It's a true depiction of a, of a woman of a certain age who has achieved a great success and is now seeing her students achieve that success. It's a story about trust and the betrayal of trust and, and the hope of connection of two people. Being in a room rehearsing this play with these two wonderful actresses is very much delving into aspects of our humanity our disappointments, our aspirations, our confidence, our insecurity. It's just a beautiful play and it's funny. It's very heartbreaking, but it's funny. I'm Flynn Lavin. I don't know that I'm funny, but she is funny. I hope I don't laugh on the night you come on stage at the thing she's doing. Sarah is extraordinarily gifted. She's a bright and very funny. She's beautiful. And she has the, the chops to uh, to play this uh, powerful young woman, a woman who uh, evolves over time. It was really essential that the ingenue had as much strength and as much power on stage as Linda brings, because the balance of the play is really very fragile. And in order to maintain the, the equilibrium of the drama and to keep it as balanced as possible, we really had to find a young actress who holds her own, and Sarah certainly does. She's a very, very strong, mesmerizing actress. I've never done a play before with just one other person. It's kind of, and I don't know a lot of people who have. There aren't that many two-handers. Um, just there aren't a ton of them. So it's really intense, and it's a beautiful story, but it's just really about the intricacies and delicacies of, of friendship and a love. It's really a love story, a, a non-sexual love story. Although Linda Lavin's pretty sexy.